Uh, first time I met uh, Coach Kelly, um, you know, I went to campus at Notre Dame and uh, I was with my family. We, we did the whole tour and then he had me up uh, to his office. It was a summer day um, and that's when he gave me an offer and uh, I was able to make that switch from Washington State to Notre Dame three days later. But uh, he just made it feel like Notre Dame was home. You know, he was really good with my parents, talked about, you know, my expectations. But he told me at the end of the day, I got to go in there and battle to win the job, which I knew. And he talked about um, getting that degree, you know, the four for 40 is what they talk about a lot at Notre Dame. And he talked a lot about, um, you know, school's going to be hard, but it's going to be worth it. So uh, I remember that and everything he said was true. And so what is it about him that makes him such a good recruiter? Is it just the reputation or is it, you know, it just his recruiting talent? Probably a little bit of everything. Just, you know, he's, he's comfortable, uh, you know, going into people's houses and being able to, to talk with the parents. The parents want to know, you know, they got to send their kid off somewhere. They want to know what, what, uh, what the expectations are going to be. And um, he'll just shoot you straight, which is, which is what you want. You know, you don't want anyone to beat around the bush and tell you something that's not going to happen. So he'll tell you that you need to compete for a spot. Um, you need to work hard in school and get that degree. And um, all he says is, uh, at the end of the day, we're here to win a national championship. That's what Notre Dame does. You hear a lot of guys sometimes don't say, you know, get out of school. I was like, oh, just say football, whatever. How big is it to have a coach who you know, really puts an emphasis on education? It's huge because football ends one day for all of us, you know. The NFL is hard. And uh, it could be a year, it could be no years, or it could be a 10-year career. At the end of the day, most people work. Um, after football's over. So it's, it's really, really important to get that degree to have something to fall back on. So just day to day in the building, meetings, practice, whatever it is, just how is he as a coach? Good. He, of games? Yeah, real good. I mean, he's, um, he'll joke with you as you walk around, but once you step uh, on the field in between those white lines, it's time to go. And he's there to coach and teach. Um, but he does, good, does a good job. He understands um, what it takes to be a Notre Dame student athlete, which is huge. You know, he, he understands that we got schoolwork to do. He understands we might have been up late studying for a test. Like he, he understands those things, which is cool to have in a coach. And so, what is he? What's he like on the sideline you know, on game days? He's fired up on game days, especially with quarterbacks. You know, it's it's tough love, but it's good at the end of the day. He demands um, a lot from his quarterbacks, and that, that's what you want. It's going to prepare you for the next level. So, uh, he's fired up, but. Again, we go out there and do what you got to do, and you win. You know, it's all worth it. You know, whether specifically for quarterbacks, these players in general, what are some of the things that he demands out of his players? Uh, well, we have our traits of excellence. I won't name them all for you, but we got a lot that we preach every single day, and just being gritty, being smart, uh, going in every single day, and, and working to, um, you know, get better at one thing every single day, and just a hundred percent. You know, uh, everything that you got, whether that's in the classroom, he'll talk about that in the classroom, on the field. Um, or just around campus as a person. And you know, what are some qualities that you think have led him to have such a successful career? Just you know, qualities about himself. Um, I just think his his leadership ability to be able to, you know, uh, lead everybody differently. You know, not everyone responds in the same way. I'd say that's his biggest biggest thing. Is he knows how to talk to me versus talking to maybe one of our running backs or receivers, um, and that's huge. And that's at the end of the day, that's communication. I would say that's what he's best at. And so. A lot of people kind of throw the word culture around, talk about the culture, around, the yeah. culture of the team. And when Brian Kelly came down to Louisiana, everyone was talking about culture fit. You know, is he yeah. going to fit in here? Do you think it's as big of a deal as people make it out to be? Or you think it's I think when I first thought about it, um, I don't think so. I mean, he's going to go down there, you know, he'll change and the team will change. And that's just part of, you know, how, how it's going to work. But he's going down there to win games. He's done it everywhere that he's been. Um, He'll, he'll find a way to fit into the culture. I'm not really worried about that. I think when I first thought about it, maybe, but I think about it more and more. Um, he's just going to demand excellence, and if he can't get a part of his program, then he probably won't be there. You know. So what are your expectations out of him out of that program in you know, the next couple of years? I think they're going to win a lot of games, um, and I don't, I don't know how much time it'll take, but I imagine what they're going through right now is a lot of the same stuff that I've been going through when I was at Notre Dame with him. You know, he's day in and day out just demanding 100% effort from everybody. He's uh, creating a culture as well as, um, I would say, getting used to the culture down there too. He's kind of doing both at once, which you should do as a leader. So uh, I expect him to win a lot of games. And when you think about your time at Notre Dame, is there any you know, memory or story about him that just kind of sticks out? Yeah. Ooh, I got a lot. No, nothing that sticks out, just him on game day. Um, you know, maybe being fired up, but you come back and you do something good. You, you, you lead the team, you never quit, never 
you know, never fold. And at the end of the game, you know, put your arm around you and say, hey, you know, it's all worth it for moments like this. So that's, those are huge. I remember those forever. Is there anything else that you would want to say about them? No, nah, just good luck. Excited to watch these games. I got to get out there and never been to, to Baton Rouge or to LSU. So I would love to go out there and, and watch a game. It's my goal.